Today's vote is important because it will give gay and lesbian couples in Ireland the same constitutional protections as any other family if they marry. The Irish referendum experience being the first country in the world to pass marriage by a public vote of the people. It's made Ireland a very attractive place to locate in. It's made it a very attractive place for talent to come to. After a historic Supreme Court ruling, gays and lesbians can marry in all 50 states. We should take a moment to pause for a second, enjoy where we are, and appreciate what an incredibly historic moment this is. And then sometimes there are days like this, when that slow, steady effort is rewarded with justice that arrives like a thunderbolt. In 78 countries, it's still illegal to be gay, and in a third of those countries, you can be imprisoned or killed. 22 transgender or gender non-conforming people have been murdered so far in 2015, nearly twice the number for last year when there were 12 reported killings. LGBT employees feel that they've been discriminated against. It's still high, even in the most developed countries. These stills purport to show a man being thrown from a building. According to the last caption, he was also then stoned to death. His alleged crime, being gay. In Chinese, we do have a poem saying, Ren wu xi wu sheng. It's like the rain in the spring, right? It drizzles all day long. If you continue to do that, eventually all things will start blossoming, and hopefully that could also work for China, but also for many other Asian countries. A country, a territory, a state, a city, a municipality that doesn't have gay people. It is a reality, but it is a human reality. Ukraine's parliament has backed a bill that bans discrimination against gay workers. The move marks a milestone in this predominantly orthodox Christian society. I don't think there's any more powerful voice than the business community. Having the business community step up and say, it's important that you pass this law, it's like, oh, okay, that's a new constituency, it's a new voice. Literally, if you set your mind to a vision, and it has a moral force behind it, anything can be done. There are steps forward, there are steps back. As a society, as a culture, we have to work together with everyone to move us all forward.